हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट मेडिकल सर्जिकल एंड फार्माकोलॉजी पैथोलॉजी एंड द जेनेटिक्स दैट इज ऑफ कोर्स कैंसर एज वी नो दैट कैंसर नाउ ए डेज इज जनरली अफेक्टिंग ए वेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पॉपुलेशन और पार्ट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स बिगन बाय इट्स डेफिनेशन बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन कीमोथेरेपी टाइप्स ऑफ different a uh, type of cancers in different organs and also regarding pain management and difference between benign and uh, we can say malignant tumor we are we will also make a video regarding hodgkin lymphoma and non hodgkin lymphoma immediately that will be available to you after this complete series of lectures in the cancer regarding cancer which are also very important for your nclex rn exam government job exam nursing exam paramedical exam mbbs mbbs in hindi etc etc so let's begin our journey after simple brief introduction that is cancer as we know that our cells in the body show mitotic activity continuously and they proliferate this word you should know note down in your diary or your notebook and also i request all the students to highlight important words immediately during my lecture so normal cells proliferate but in case of cancer there is increased proliferation increased proliferation there is angio neogenesis angio neogenesis when we talk about what are the various uh, we can say hallmarks or the points which differentiate a cancer cell from a normal cell a normal cell show a proliferation but th these cells show excessive proliferation uncontrolled proliferation angio neogenesis they develop new blood vessels in them they show less or no apoptosis apoptosis as you know apoptosis that is natural cell death and they also show uh, we can say limitless division but one of their main feature is metastasis that is they show invasion around the uh, we can say in the uh, nearby adjacent organs for example you can see here that due to smoking a person is having cancer cells growth in his trachea which are also migrating towards esophagus leading to metastasis and esophageal cancer so cancer nowadays is as we know that it affects immune system respiratory system our musculoskeletal system gi system sensory motor activity so generally we can say it is affecting uh, nearby all the cells of the body and when we talk about the spread how these metastases or malignant cells spread so basically the spread can be by blood and by the lymphatic system as we know that lymphatic system brings blood from uh, we can say left over fluid from all over the body it is having lymph nodes known as peers patches known as peers patches in the gi system peers patches okay axillary lymph nodes are there and also it is having lymph nodes in the cervical or in the neck region and lymph nodes are present in the females in the breast area so the fluid carried by these lymphatic organs spleen lymph nodes can have malignant cells which can migrate or get transferred to the distant organs and can show 
कैंसर ऑल्सो वी नो अबाउट लकीमिया और ब्लड कैंसर ब्लड इज ऑल्सो ए मीडियम ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट फॉर द मेलिग्नेंट सेल्स ऑल क्लियर एवरीबॉडी क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट ड्यूरिंग द लेक्चर प्लीज ask in the comment section below note uh, in your notebook or the diary i will definitely answer your queries and what kind of organs or the cells generally show metastasis it include our immune system cells urinary bladder lungs bone breast spinal cancer and definitely lymph node cancer is going to show metastasis and when we talk about other type it can be having solid tumor for example in the breast area it can show solid tumor like structure and it can spread through uh, we can say that is our uh, uh, lymphatic systems and the blood there is another uh, we can say type of uh, we can say metastasis shown by the cavities shown by the cavities cavities can also we can say participate in metastasis for example meso theo meso please note this word meso thyolema can be the cancer associated with the cavities especially in the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity meso the uh, theolema meso thyolema meso thyolema ओके 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 राइट सो व्हाट आर द अदर टर्म्स एसोसिएटेड विद द कैंसर सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आवर ग्रेडिंग सिस्टम एज वी नो इन द मूवीज एंड इन द सॉन्ग्स दैट द डॉक्टर कम्स आउट ऑफ द ऑपरेशन थिएटर ऑफ द कैंसर एंड टेल्स द हीरो और इन चार्ज दैट आई एम सॉरी योर वाइफ योर हसबेंड इज बॉय फ्रेंड इज गोइंग टू हैव इज हैविंग कैंसर वी आर नॉट एबल टू सेव हिज और हर लाइफ सो देर इज सम डिस्टर्बिंग सीन्स क्राइंग सीन्स सो वट दे मीन बाय ग्रेडिंग और स्टेजिंग स्टेजिंग इन द ग्रेडिंग सिस्टम द डॉक्टर्स स्टडी अबाउट द शेप ऑफ द मेलिग्नेंट सेल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द मेलिग्नेंट सेल size rate of spread and where it is uh, located or is present so on the basis of grading there is grade 1 which shows mild dysplasia number of cells are increasing but it is mild type grade 1 and can be generally treated by prophylactic surgery or prophylactic treatment and when we talk about grade second it is of moderate we can say differentiation can be there moderate differentiation so what is the meaning of the word differentiation when doctors study the slides of the cells under the microscope they check the boundaries of the cells they check the shape of the cell for example here you can note this cell is showing some circular arrangement whereas its adjacent cells are of square shape uh, they check the immaturity so this all term means differentiation that how to differentiate between a normal cell and a abnormal cell under the third grading system there is poor differentiation and very uh, we can say on the large scale uh, uh, we can say division is going on there is a uh, dysplasia is going on and in the fourth grade highly immature cells are present in that area known as anaplasia please note important words immediately anaplasia take screenshot note them now by pausing the video and highlight them and when it comes to staging system it is a stage o or zero which means carcinoma in situ carcinoma in situ carcinoma okay in situ which is generally meaning benign tumor or the tumor which is located at its on site right before we move forward i would like to discuss uh, the word uh, oncology it is uh, the science medical science branch related to uh, we can say uh, uh, understanding about the study treatment treatment and prevention and curation of the cancer medical science branch related to the word 
कैंसर ऑनकोलॉजी नर्सिंग ऑनकोलॉजी मेडिसन एंड द डॉक्टर कंसर्न इज नोन एज ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट सो दीज काइंड ऑफ बेसिक थिंग्स यू शुड नो अबाउट वेन यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर एनक्लेक्स आर एन एग्जाम एम बी बी एस एग्जाम यू एस एम एल ई बी एस सी नर्सिंग एम एस सी नर्सिंग मेडिकल सर्जिकल पी पी जी पैथोफार्मा जेनेटिक्स एटसेट्रा सो आफ्टर द स्टेजिंग फर्स्ट स्टेज इज लिमिटेड वी कैन से स्प्रेड इज देयर लिमिटेड स्प्रेड ग्रेड वन स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज टू लिमिटेड लोकल स्प्रेड द कैंसर इज स्प्रेडिंग बट मे बी इट कैन बी प्रेजेंट अप टू हेयर ऑन द एक्जिलरी एरिया एंड कैन बी ट्रीटेड बाय रेडिएशन इन द थर्ड स्टेज देर इज एक्सटेंसिव मेटास्टेसिस एक्सटेंसिव मेटास्टेसिस इज देयर फोर्थ स्टेज इंडिकेट्स क्लियर कट मेटास्टेसिस और द इन्वेजन of the cancer cells to the nearby neighboring cells or the adjacent cells all right done boom roasted if you are having any doubt so far you can please ask in the comment section before that i would like to discuss that there uh, is a word that is generally a abbreviation but there are lot of other warning signs you know there are near about 100 type of cancers 100 types of cancers in the present more than 100 types of cancers but generally in our syllabus we study to pass the exams to understand the topic so this is a brief review of the cancer topic so word abbreviation caution generally uh, covers approximate all the signs that are present in cancer patients so let's begin first is warning sign c cautions from the word caution first is c change change in what vowel movement and bladder movement a stand for a sore throat a sore throat can indicate uh, cancer of the lymph nodes present in the neck region thyroid cancer can be there trachea cancer can be there and change in bowel and uh, urinary bladder movement change show uh, colon cancer uh, it can be urinary bladder associated cancer change then is the unusual bleeding from the u it means unusual bleeding for example in case of cervix cancer cervix is this part opens into the vagina there can be unusual bleeding and from the word t there is thickened ya yeah, we can say thick lump thick lump thick lump can be there so lump formation is commonly uh, educated to the females of the adolescent age that they should uh, do their self breast examination and observe for any lump in the breast males are educated regarding any lump in the we can say testicle uh, testicles area testis area and lump can also be present in the neck region here cervical lymph nodes breast lymph nodes etc etc and from the word i means indigestion indigestion means poor digestion uh, which can be uh, an indicator for uh, gi cancer pancreatic cancer gall bladder cancer liver cancer etc and then is the uh, we can say obvious o for stands for obvious change in the wart or the mole some people are having wart or mole which shows obvious changes a injury can be there which is not healing on time and unnecessary weight loss can be there cough can be there swelling can be there lump formation can be there cachexia uh, cachexia can be there cachexia cachexia can be there cachexia cachexia okay cachexia cachexia can be there muscle wasting which means muscle wasting kindly note this word so loss of appetite can be there loss of appetite poor weight gain theek hai poor weight gain can be there so we can uh, we had seen that nagging voice and in the last n stands for nagging voice for example i am going to teach in the nagging voice or horse uh, horseness of the voice uh, what is going on in here and this is a indicator of cancer so this is basically the warning signs and when we talk about the causes so now it is the turn for the causes it is over here please look at this topic first one is genetics first one is genetics 
एंड ए सिंगल म्यूटेटेड जीन कैन बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर जेनेटिक चेंजेस विच कैन बी पटर्नल और मटरनल विच कैन बी कैरिड बाय मैनी फैमिलीज इन फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट एंड शो म्यूटेशन बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज रेटिनो ब्लास्टोमा इन द रेटिनो ब्लास्टोमा देयर इज म्यूटेशन ऑफ द नर्व सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन द रेटिना वंस अगेन देयर इज म्यूटेशन ऑफ द सेल्स नर्व सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन द रेटिना एंड वी नो दैट रेटिना इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कैप्चरिंग द लाइट एंड प्रोसेसिंग टू प्रोवाइड विजन टू प्रोवाइड विजन ओके रेटिनो ब्लास्टोमा जेनेटिक्स कैन बी ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद कैंसर ब्रेस्ट वही कैसे कैंसर ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट एरिया लंग कैंसर इसोफेजियल कैंसर कैन बी देयर एंड इन द एनवायरमेंट एंड सॉरी इन द पर्सनल हैबिट्स यस दिस इज डेफिनेटली द किलर वन एंड स्मोकिंग स्मोकिंग अकाउंट्स फॉर नियर अबाउट नाइंटी परसेंट कैंसर एसोसिएटेड विद कैंसर ऑफ द लंग्स इन द मेल्स स्पेशली एंड इसोफेजियल कैंसर यूरिनरी ब्लैडर कैंसर एंड कैंसर ऑफ द वी कैन से थ्रेसिक कैविटी कैन बी देयर पेनक्रिएटिक कैंसर कैन बी देयर सो सो मैनी कैंसर आर एसोसिएटेड विद स्मोकिंग विच इज ए डायरेक्ट एक्सपोजर फॉर कारसिनोजेंस कारसिनोजेंस दोज एजेंट्स विच कॉजेज कैंसर आर कार्ड कारसिनोजन स्मोकिंग निकोटीन इज वन ऑफ दैम स्मोक इज वन ऑफ दैम हॉट टेम्परेचर ऑफ द वी कैन से स्मोक इज वन ऑफ दैम एंड देन कम्स द सेक्शुअल कॉन्टैक्ट इन द सेक्शुअल कॉन्टैक्ट इट कैन कॉज वी कैन से हैविंग मल्टीपल सेक्शुअल पार्टनर्स सर्विक्स कैंसर कैन बी देयर इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स इंक्लूड लिविंग इन एन इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया hydrocarbons asbestos you know what is asbestos asbestos is a naturally occurring silica it is a naturally uh, occurring silica naturally occurring occurring silica which is used commonly in the industrial we can say purposes for making many products the persons working in the uh, cotton and wool industry uh, we can say hydrocarbons and persons working in the painting industry exposure to the thinners exposure to the paints and herbicides pesticides insecticides can also lead to cancer of different types and then comes the we can say infection so on my right side you can see different kind of uh, we can say microorganisms such as h pylori h pylori is present in the large intestine helicobacter pylori then is the hepatitis b and c human papilloma virus human papilloma virus you can see and another is the killer one that is epstein barr virus epstein barr virus can cause we can say cancer we can say cancer hiv can also cause cancer hiv can also cause cancer in the human being so so many reasons are present over there that can lead to cancer so we had so far covered our definition our uh, parts that are associated with metastasis grading system staging system the word caution uh, that include warning signs and the causes are now being covered so in the viral system hiv can also be responsible for this killer disease hormones hormones uh, cover thyroid hormones diabetes mellitus related to insulin hyperinsulinemia uh, less hypo production of insulin cortisol glucagon thyroid uh, is the um, a major enemy Uh, in the cancer thyroid so insulin like growth factors which are uh, responsible for uh, uh, we can say stimulation of onco genes and tumor suppressive genes tumor suppressive genes in uh, in this cell regulation cell reproduction video i had taught about tumor suppressive genes and our onco genes which uh, we can say stimulate proliferation obesity can be there obesity is directly associated with thyroid diabetes mellitus decreased exercise age above 40 years but you can also observe in the hospital setting pediatric cancers 
immunity, low immunity, especially uh, when the patient is on immunosuppressive medicine, when the, uh, we can say, organ transplant is being done and when we talk about geographical locations the people of new zealand and australia yes don't mind please australian and new zealand population is very much risk at very much risk of skin cancer people of japan are risk at are at risk of colorectal cancer colon cancer so it also depends upon geographical causes and other causes that lead to the cancer so what are the various we can say lab tests what are the various diagnostic tests that are done by the medical sciences to understand the presence of benign tumor or malignant tumor so i had covered so many topics in a very short time all for a brief discussion but believe me all the topics all all the types of cancers will be covered in this lecture series related to NCLEX RN, we can say medical surgical nursing, we can say pediatric nursing cancers, we can say uh, our uh, uh, pharmacology, uh, pathology and genetics and also NCLEX RN government job exam, nursing staff exam, nursing MCQs on the nursing masters channel and also now we discuss lab diagnosis or diagnostic test first is biopsy which can be fine needle aspiration fine needle we can say biopsy can be there fna fine needle aspiration it can be of seasonal or it can be of unseasonal type in the seasonal type please note that doctors are going to remove the complete uh, affected part complete infected part of the cancer okay under the surgery part we will study debulking debulking okay this is a seasonal the complete part is removed removed by the needle to for the study purpose or for the removal purpose in the in seasonal a small part is taken by the needle small part is taken by the needle and we can say morphological studies are being done in the lab morphological studies are being done in the lab okay after that complete blood count to check the blood cancer to check the hematocratic value mcv we can say platelet count to assess any red bone marrow malfunction etc cd scan is done x-ray is done mri is done to check any we can say crossing of the boundaries herniation lesion formation and the size and rate of spread of cancer lft my dear students is done liver function test to assess the condition of biomarkers like sgot sgpt ast alt uh, tests are there which provide a, a lot of important information lot of important information is provided by these kind of lab tests and then comes the our we can say uh, mammography it is very very common for the breast examination breast cancer examination mammograph or mammography so till now we had covered definition of the cancer a malignant neoplastic growth types of cancer benign and tumor uh, we can say benign and malignant malignancy metastasis and the various modes of spread of cancer uh, the organs which show metastasis staging system grading system caution word is as a warning sign lab diagnostic test causes we had discussed causes of cancer and now we will discuss about the other we can say aspects related to the that is our topic cancer first of all is our that is we can say surgical part so before uh, surgery i would like to tell you that we had a complete lecture series in english on the chemotherapy covering every aspect of the topic okay so surgery generally covers prophylactic part prophylactic part generally means uh, we can say uh, uh, removal of the tumor cells on time uh, as a prophylactic measure checking the family history any genetic mutation and every attempt is made to remove the cancer part 
देयर फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग फर्दर डेवलपमेंट फर्दर वी कैन से ग्रोथ और मेटास्टेसिस पी फॉर प्रोफोलैक्टिक पी फॉर प्रिवेंटिव रिमेंबर दैट क्यूरेटिव क्यूरेटिव मीन्स टू जस्ट टू क्योर जस्ट टू ट्रीट एंड क्यूरेटिव ऑल्सो मीन्स दैट डी बल्किंग डी बल्किंग और कंट्रोल सर्जरी कैन बी डन अंडर द क्यूरेटिव एंड टू रिमूव द ट्यूमर पार्ट टू प्रिवेंट मेटास्टेसिस देन कम्स दैलिएटिव सर्जरी पैलिएटिव सर्जरी क्यूरेटिव सर्जरी बिफोर दैट क्यूरेटिव सर्जरी प्लीज नोट दैट इट ऑल्सो मेक्स यूज ऑफ इंट्रा ऑपरेटिव रेडिएशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द गाइनेकोलॉजिकल एग्जामिनेशन और ड्यूरिंग द सर्जरी डॉक्टर हैड ऑब्जर्व ए कैंसर एंड इमीजिएटली ड्यूरिंग द सर्जरी इंट्रा ऑपरेटिव रेडिएशन थेरेपी आई ओ आर टी प्लीज नोट दिस आई ओ आर टी इंट्रा ऑपरेटिव वी कैन से सर्जरी इज डन बाय द डॉक्टर्स इंट्रा ऑपरेटिव रेडिएशन इन द गाइनेकोलॉजी फील्ड मेडिकल सर्जिकल फील्ड ओके नाउ कम्स द पैलिएटिव सर्जरी पैलिएटिव सर्जरी एज वी नो फोकस ऑन इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ क्यू ओ एल क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ फॉर द वी कैन से बेटरमेंट और प्रोस्थेटिक पर्पस प्रोस्थेटिक पर्पस वी नो दैट टू इंप्रूव द लुक ऑफ द पेशेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए फीमेल इज हैड अंडर गोन वी कैन से मस्टेक्टमी रिमूवल ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट इन द वी कैन से अंडर द कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट शी विल फील दैट इज साइकोलॉजिकल ट्रामा दैट शी इज हैविंग आल्टर्ड बॉडी इमेज पुअर बॉडी इमेज हर लुक्स हैड नाउ चेंज बट द पीपल विल आस्क Uh, if the mother, if if she is a lactating mother, she can have lot of problems. So uh, we can say for improvement of quality to prevent psychological trauma, palliative surgery is done to relieve any obstruction of GI system, urinary bladder, spinal compress can be treated by drain abscess can be done by the uh, we can say palliative surgery. And in the last, how can we forget the word synonymous with the our that is cancer radiation radiation everybody fears radiation my dear students everybody fear radiation so first under the radiation is first is teletherapy in this a laser beam or laser beam or uh, we can say radioactive element Ra uh, uh, we can say laser okay laser beam is focused on the tumor for example this is our patient he is having tumor in the gi system the machine will target the tumor cells from 360 degree by rotating camera by rotating machine that this will cover the radiation on the tumor cells from all sides under the teletherapy so teletherapy also makes use of I M R T. Please also note this word. I M R T. Intensity modulated radiotherapy. I M R T. This is commonly asked question in the MCQs, nursing MCQs. I M R T. Okay. Uh, intensity modulated. That is our radiotherapy and I O R T. I O R T intra operative radiotherapy. I O R T. I had already told. and what when it comes to the uh, some words that is radio sensitivity please note this word radio sensitivity it generally means how well how well or how poorly the patient is responding the cancer cells are responding to the we can say our radiotherapy radio sensitivity and what do you understand by the word boost boost is the extra dose of radiation required to treat the cancer required to uh, treat the cancer if there is radio sensitivity there can be radio resistance also so it is the resistance shown by the cancer cells towards the radiotherapy boost is the additional dose so we had covered a lot a lot in a very short period of time this lecture is fantastic fantastic medical surgical nursing best medical lecture best nursing lecture in its class and in india nobody will teach you i challenge nobody will teach you in such a short brief period over the cancer over the introduction over all these aspects okay so now comes the brachytherapy brachytherapy simply means placement 
यस प्लेसमेंट ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट इन दी कैविटीज ओ माई गॉड दिस इज रियली ट्रोमेटाइजिंग बट वी कैन से वट इफ ए पर्सन इज डाइंग देर आर सो मैनी ऑपरचुनिटीज टू लिव ऑन देर इज सो मैनी ऑपरचुनिटीज एंड वन ऑफ दैम इज प्लेसमेंट ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स इन द कैविटीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फीमेल इज हैविंग सर्वाइकल कैंसर द रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट कैन बी प्लेस इन द बजाइना दिस रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट कैन बी इन द सील्ड पैकेज इन द सील्ड पैकेज एंड इट कैन बी ऑफ अनसील्ड पैकेज अनसील्ड पैकेज सो देर आर सो मैनी प्रॉब्लम इन द टेलीथेरापी द पेशेंट एंड हिज रेलेटिव आर नॉट एट रिस्क फॉर द रेडिएशन बट इन द ब्रेकी थेरेपी द रेलेटिव एंड फैमिली मेंबर्स लिविंग नियर बाय फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट विल ऑल्सो मिट रेडिएशन टू द नियर बाय रेलेटिव सो देर इज रिस्क फॉर रेडिएशन रिस्क फॉर रेडिएशन सो there are so many aspects there were so many aspects which we discussed in the cancer for example we had discussed about definition we had discussed about malignant benign tumor routes of spread classification and yes 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 and under the classification uh, let's discuss in the end oh in the end how i can forget this this is very very important very very important very commonly asked in the mcqs of nursing exams nclex rn exam government job exam is types of uh, like this type of classification uh, oma sarcoma lymphoma germ cell the word oma means benign tumor benign tumor when we talk about carcinoma it generally means cancer of the that is epithelial tissue epithelial tissue breast then bone bone is also covered in the lung cancer pancreas cancer yes lung cancer pancreas cancer can be there the right so in the sarcoma there is cancer of the bone exclusive bone cartilages and fat cells nerve cells fat cells nerve cells and when it comes to lymphoma the word itself is indicator for the that is lymphocytes a type of wbc lymphocyte that increase in number causing leukemia leukemia every medical student know this word leukemia so germ cells are responsible for reproduction so it include cancer of testes in the males and cancer of ovaries in females i discussed about cancer its every aspect lab test warning signs causes surgeries and obvious we are going to discuss chemotherapy in the next part so thank you for watching this video very short video but complete precise video on covering every aspect of oncology every aspect of nclex rn every aspect of government job exam medical surgical nursing gnm bsc nursing student msc medical nursing students are going to get benefit from these types of videos so once again thank you for watching this video don't forget to press the subscribe button share button and the like button thank you very much